Hi, sex class. This is a question from your 7.2 homework. Uh, the question is, how do you find this critical value, Z alpha over 2? Well, the easiest way to find a critical value is only the Z alpha over 2. Um, Z alpha, Z is the uh, standard normal distribution. So inverse norm is how you find critical numbers if you know a percent or an area. So you go to inverse norm. Oops, inverse norm. And instead of putting the number in there, you do a couple of things. One, you're going to subtract the number in decimal form from one. Right, that's alpha. Anytime you subtract the uh, confidence level from a hundred percent, that's alpha. That's the, the alpha is basically what's left over. And then you divide that by two because it's alpha divided by two. So alpha over two. And then the other thing you have to do, remember to do is take that negative away. So the 1.81 is where that number is coming from. Now with stat crunch, the way you have to use stat crunch on this problem is the stat calculator normal. And this, when you do um, confidence levels, the 93% is between two numbers. Now the way, now this is standard normal, so mean is zero, standard deviation is one. Take these numbers beside the x away take this probability away and then you put in the 0.93 over here in the probability. Now if you leave both of these blank stack crunch is going to assume that you want it to be the middle 93% which is what this means. So you hit compute and there's your lower and upper z alpha over 2 negative and z alpha over 2 positive which is what we want. So there's the 1.81 also. So that's the way that StatCrunch does it. Uh, you're welcome to do it either way uh, on your homework. You can also do it with the tables, but these are the ways that you do it with technology.